Welcome back to another Dentrix tutorial, where in this video, we will be talking all about Dentrix perfect day scheduling. Perfect day scheduling, you can take your schedule from looking like this with a bunch of low production appointments all crammed together to a schedule that looks like this, where you have time set aside for high production, for new patients, for emergencies, for anything that you need by simply using these little time blocks. So let's talk about how and why you would want to use perfect day scheduling. The why is the first important part. So perfect day scheduling allows you to block times for important procedures and for high production appointments. This allows you to maximize your time and ensure you're reaching production goals on a daily basis. Now the perfect day scheduling is going to be different for different practices and for different providers. So take some time to think about how you would like your perfect day to flow. Once you've had a chance to think about how you want it to be set up, let's jump in to creating those time blocks. So from the appointment book, we'll go up to this top bar where it says setup and then um, provider setup. We'll click that and we'll select the provider that we want to work with. So um, let's see, we'll just go with DDS3 first. So select the provider and select setup. So in the last video, we were we were in the same area and we were talking all about setting up the schedule and the default schedule and the schedule for different operatories and different providers. And that's when we were working on this left side. If you want to watch that video, I highly recommend it. I will link it down below. Um, but today's video, we're going to be working over on the right side where it says set time blocks. So these time blocks are where we're going to create all of these blocks that you see here in the background. So to create one, we'll just click add and we'll create whatever block that we want. So in this case, we'll say we wanna set a high production block. So we'll create a name for it. We can pick a color for it. So you can pick anything you want. So for this one, we'll, we'll pick orange and click okay. And then you select the parameters for when you want this time block to exist on your schedule. So if it's every day that you're working at a certain time, say first thing in the morning from eight until 10, I want only high production. You can select that in here. So just for this example, we'll go ahead and click Wednesday and we'll say DDS3 wants a time block um, in the afternoon, 2.30 to 4 o'clock. So we'll just type in our times that we want. You'll want to assign an operatory for this time block. So wherever this provider wants to do this procedure at this certain time. So for now we'll click, um, and we'll go with up four and we'll select okay. Pretty straightforward as far as setting up time blocks. Once you click okay and close out of here, you'll see that time block appear. So the biggest thing is just going in and setting it all, all the parameters for how you want it to exist for your practice. It can be a little time consuming to get it all set up, but once it's set, it's in there and you don't have to worry too much about anything anything else, um, unless your office hours change or, or something else happens where you'll wanna go in and change it. But once the initial setup is done, you're pretty much good to go. Um, if you go to your schedule after this is set up and it looks like this and you're like, where did all my time blocks that I just made go? It just means you need to activate your perfect day scheduling. So this icon right up here that looks like a little appointment book, if you hover over it, it says perfect day scheduling, you'll just click that to turn on your time blocks. You'll need to do this on every computer in your office. So once you click on it, it will stay on. Even when you close out of Dentrix, it will stay on, but it won't automatically go onto every computer. So go around your office and just turn on perfect day scheduling for every operatory and every computer. And once those are all set to, this happens to me a lot, I'm a hygienist. And so my schedule looks something like this, where I have blocks for scaling, replanning blocks for new patients. But there's a lot of times when I'm scheduling an appointment that just this block is in my way for whatever reason. I want this appointment to, you know, this patient to come in at three o'clock or that's all that works for them. I can just simply move this block on a day-by-day -day basis. So you just click on it and you can drag it where you want it to go. You can also make it longer or shorter, just like you would on an appointment. Um, the only thing is you cannot move them between operatories. You can only move them up and down in this one operatory. 
So while I never think it's okay to schedule an appointment that doesn't belong in this time block, that's a big no-no in my office. Um, for me, it is okay for me to move these as I see fit, you know, if if I need something to be out of out of the way. But I don't ever delete it and I don't ever schedule anything else that's not appropriate for that time block. That really helps keep the schedule exactly how we want it to be. So this really helps save you time, helps with preventing scheduling errors, all of that, and also helps you to be more productive in your day. So if you schedule accordingly, there's no reason that you shouldn't hit your production goals every single day, you know, based on the time blocks you should be able to. So great, that's it. If this video helped you, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe. It really helps to support my channel and I post new Dentrix tutorials weekly. So if there's any topics that you would like to learn more about, drop it in the comments below and I will cover that topic in a future video. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next one.